Now, this is the latest sort of fruit of that partnership, uh, the Z3. A pretty typical box sent to us from the friends at uh, T-Mobile. It's got a lot of stuff under the hood. It's all the specs here on the back. But why bother reading when you can just listen? So I'm going to take you through all of that goodness. We'll go ahead and open this sucker up. And there is the Xperia Z3, all sealed in plastic. I'm uh, feeling very thin. Push off the side for a quick sec. So what else are we going to have inside of the box? We've got a very large wall where it only has a USB port on it. Got a micro USB cable and a T-Mobile SIM that is probably in the phone. So push all that off to the side. I want to dig in and take a look at this phone enough about the accessories. Here is the Xperia Z3 and it looks and feels really nice. I'll go ahead and peel this off. Oh, whooshy noise. If I can get that satisfied whooshy noise on the back. Double my whooshy noise. Boom. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and power it on and I'll run through all the specs. Uh, we took a look at the Z3V for Verizon. That was sort of the same specs as this, but put into the last generation body. This brings new body and the new hardware. This is a 5.2 inch screen. It's 1920, so that's 1920 by 1080, which means it's got a 424 PPI. It's a triluminous display, and Sony's displays uh, have usually looked very nice, but I've been a bit hard on them in the recent years. Uh, they've always had that sort of waterproof ish uh, coating over the screen, it sort of made it look a little bit washed out to me. Uh, with the Z3V, I didn't see that, so I'm hoping that with the Z3, that's gonna be gone as well. Go ahead and finish the setup process. So it's got a tri-luminous display on here. It's Android 4.4.4 at launch, uh, being powered by 2.5 gigahertz, quad-core Snapdragon 801, three gigs of RAM are in here, uh, 32 gigs of internal storage, but of course you could expand that with micro SD up to 128. The big story, is in a little tiny package. Right there is a 20.7 megapixel camera that can also shoot 4K video. Uh, that's not the only camera on here. You've got a front-facing 2.2 megapixel shooter. Other specs, 802.11, A, B, G, N, and A, C. A 3100 milliamp hour, not a movable battery. Uh, it's not a very fat phone or a very heavy phone. It weighs 152 grams. Uh, it's extremely thin as well at 7.3 millimeters or 0.29 inches if you whatever scale you tend to go with. Uh, so let's do a real quick tour of the device and walk through kind of everything on it. So of course you've got on-screen buttons, so you're not gonna have any capacitor buttons living down here. Um, you've got Sony skin sitting on top of Android 4.4. Gone are the Timescape and Mediascape. Sony does a really nice job, I think, sort of adding a little bit while still letting Android be Android. Uh, on the left-hand side of the device, you've got a connector for presumably uh, some docks and such. Uh, since this is a waterproof device, everything's gonna be sort of living under these little trays that have a rubber gasket around it. That's your charge and sync port on the left-hand side. Uh, buttons on the right, though, a bit different than what we in the past. So if you go ahead and pull this one out, that is where your uh, SIM and micro SD card are going to live. So you don't have to take anything out to access that. Uh, a very large and pronounced power and lock button. Below that is your volume toggle. And then you've got a dedicated camera button, which I really like to have. Go ahead and push that. You can see what the camera UI looks like real fast. Give me camera. Got a little bit of vibration feedback. And here we are in the camera. Again, it's capable of shooting full 4K video, which is uh, pretty impressive. Uh, let's see what's going to come bundled on here. So a really cool thing that T-Mobile is doing, device unlock. Um, you can go ahead and you can lock it, or unlock it, depending on where you are, all via an app. It's a really cool thing that T-Mobile is doing as part of the sort of uncarrier initiative, and I really give them credit for that. Uh, go ahead and look here. Mostly it's stock Android, not many T-Mobile editions here at all. Uh, mostly what you're seeing is sort of some Sony stuff, but mobile hotspot is there. Uh, and here's sort of your T-Mobile things, visual voicemail, uh, my T-Mobile account, and T-Mobile TV. But the rest of that is uh, pretty stock Android and Sony. Go ahead and swipe over to the left, you can get a quick sort of different view of your app if you want to. A few other kind of neat things Sony does. If you go ahead and hit the multitasking button, uh, you can go ahead and pick sort of little widgets that can run sort of inside of other things. So your calculator and stuff, you can go ahead and close that. Uh, and then the rest of it is sort of as is. If we go ahead and do a little bit of a long press, we'll take a look at some of the widgets that are here. See what the UI looks like, it's sort of very clear. Uh, you can also theme this as well. I'll go ahead and pick the widgets. You can see what Sony uh, offers here. Uh, the device, it sort of has a uh, sort of a black plastic feel uh, to the back, but it feels really nice and it's curved. Uh, so as you go ahead and sort of swipe your finger over it, it's sort of got a round feel, similar to what we see on the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. Of course, it's got NFC on it as well and some very subtle T-Mobile branding. I'm gonna just do a real quick size comparison here, see what it looks like against sort of some other phones. Uh, here's the 5.5 inch LG G3 uh, for comparison. Uh, and here's what I think a very similar looking phone. Um, this is the iPhone 6 with a 4.7 inch screen. You can see the difference there on both and then on the thickness of each device. I should also mention too that it's got the ability to use this device as a screen for your PS4, which is kind of cool. Uh, you can get a little bit of a mount and you can put it around top of the controller and use it as a second screen, which is sort of a really neat tool. In case maybe you want to play some NBA 2K and your wife is watching a cooking show, you know, you can go ahead and use this and still get your game on. All right, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Anything you want to see particular about the device, let us know in the comments and we'll be sure to cover it. Uh, we'll have a full review up very soon as we get a chance to use the device and learn everything that it can do. Until next time, I'm John Ranger from Techno Buffalo. See you guys next video.
Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more videos from people who just love technology, hit the big subscribe button right here. We put up videos almost every single day. If you want to see us play video games, albeit sometimes a bit poorly, check us out at our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash technobuffalo. Link's also right down below.